Hello guys, good day to all, this is Mike Padua and good evening. This is the latest weather analysis for this uh, Monday to Wednesday, the last week of November, November 28 to 30th, and this is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000. It looks like the month of November is Typhoon free, okay? And we must thank the Lord since uh, it will lessen impacts to our country, but we're still one month to go before the uh, 2022 typhoon season ends so let's hope let's hope that the last month of the year christmas month will be still typhoon free but we are continuing uh, monitoring the western pacific for any possible development to christmas time and the last day of December so far we can only see up to 14 days it's all clear still all clear across the western pacific because of the strengthening of the uh, La Nina conditions convergence of lower level uh, cloudiness okay are limiting tropical cyclone development so no convergence can be seen except along the uh, west Philippine sea it's purely northeasterlies and easterly trade winds. And here's the latest right now from our graph set we issued this afternoon. And we have a diffuse tail end of a frontal system known as a shear line. And it's uh, affecting the Bicol region, Calabarzon, Metro Manila, Mimaropa, and Visayas. And it is uh, alongside with the uh, weak uh, Amihan or the northeasterly uh, trade winds across these areas same areas so expect some breezy conditions with slightly uh, decreasing uh, temperatures of up to 1.5 degrees centigrade so far for the past 24 hours here in naga city and as well as different uh, parts of the country we are um, experiencing some decrease of 1.5 centigrade during the past 24 hours because of a uh, short blow of the northeast monsoon and a passing frontal system which created this shear line that's why we have a, uh, a cloudy conditions okay across these areas that i've mentioned meanwhile 99w and 91w has dissipated during the past 24 hours there's only one low pressure system to the south of palau this is uh, or south of yap this is lpa 90w it's quite uh, a weakening system dissipating over the uh, uh, waters of the uh, southern micronesia and it's likely to become a surface trough as it moves across to the south of mindanao come december 1 and 2 so expect the troughing from this lpa will bring rainfall conditions across mindanao and portions of eastern visayas while the rest of the country will remain fair with isolated rain showers and thunderstorms, particularly in the afternoon or evening. And uh, so far, that's the latest from our graph set. Here's the uh, fast animation. It's all quiet and clear across the Philippine Islands except for the northeasterly wind flow and the uh, diffused shear line and the trough from LPA 90W. Here's the zoom in satellite animation. As of now, we are only seeing a number of thunderstorms across the country. Uh, one here over uh, Polilio and over the Caramuan Peninsula, Caranuanes, and some portions of uh, western uh, Leyte. And uh, lots of thunderstorms can also be expected to occur across Mindanao because of local uh, uh, convection and some from the approaching surface trough okay and if we take a look at the rainfall accumulation for the next three days rainfall activity will be expected across the eastern sections of Visayas the eastern uh, portions of uh, Caraga and the uh, Davao region because of that uh, passing uh, possible remnants of LPA 90W so the trough will bring rainfall in various sections of the Visayas and Mindanao into the southern portions of Sulu Archipelago come December 1 and 2 while over uh, to the eastern coastline of uh, Cagayan Valley and the eastern portions of northern Quezon we are also going to uh, see some rain showers and possible thunderstorms because 
of a uh, an approaching or another shear line that is expected to bring rains over these areas. And if we take a look at the wind and pressure forecast for the next three days, it looks like same uh, conditions will be expected all throughout the country. Some easterly winds and northeasterly winds will prevail tomorrow afternoon. Northeasterly trade winds will be expected across the Bicol region, Visayas, and some easterly winds over the eastern sections of Mindanao. While variable winds will be expected over uh, the northern and central sections of Luzon. Wednesday uh, afternoon, the uh, new surge of a northeast monsoon expected to dig down across extreme northern Luzon and weak Amihan or the northeasterly wind flow will again persist across the eastern sections of Luzon including Bicol, Calabarzon, Metro Manila, Visayas and Mimaropa as well as the eastern sections of Mindanao and on December 1st okay the northeast monsoon will remain across extreme northern Luzon and uh, the monsoon will also be felt across the uh, eastern sections of Luzon including the Bicol region and some easterly winds across Visayas, portions of Mimiropa and eastern Mindanao and uh, so far that's the latest we are not going to push through for the next uh, 10 days since it's uh, purely easterlies and northeasterly or northeast monsoon that is expected throughout the next uh, throughout the week okay so the low pressure system that is expected to pass here to the south of Mindanao will be uh, weakening into a surface trough and it's all clear and we must thank our almighty lord that it's uh, clear during the end of November into the first days of December so let's continue to pray that during uh, Christmas time or during the last week of December we are still going to be typhoon free so that we close 2022 without any land falling typhoons across the Philippine Islands okay so there you go that's the latest for this Monday through Wednesday and we will return again within the next couple of days this is Mike Potter reporting stay safe always be hashtag weatherwiser Thank you so much for watching our channel.